I'm Danger Holm and I'm here today with one of the lightest full suspension mountain bikes in the world. My all new Scott Spark Sub 8 Kilo. The goal this time was to build a full suspension, cross country and marathon bike weighing below 8 kilos, which equals to about 17.63 pounds. But no shortcuts or sheeting allowed, so I set a few rules for it. First of all, the weight had to include pedals, a Garmin GPS mount and a bottle cage. And while I'm no stranger to raw carbon frames, which saves a fair bit of weight, I wanted this bike to look a little bit more normal, so I wanted it to have a full paint job. Most importantly, the bike had to be race ready and also ride great, of course. So that meant going with proper tires, even if they're not the lightest. After a lot of gram hunting, I cleared the 8 kilo limit with a margin of 3 grams. So the complete bike weighs 7,997 grams. Before taking a closer look at the bike, let me get ahead of you and address the lack of a dropper post. The idea here is that while droppers are of course very useful and fun, they're not really necessary for every single track or all kinds of riding. So the bike is of course prepped to use one and say we put a bike yoke Divine SL on it, it will still be just about 8.4 kilos. At the heart of the bike is a Scott Spark RC SL frame. This is the lightest model, it features 100 millimeters of travel and this one here weighs just 1762 grams, including the rear shock and all the hardware. The beautiful red color is, excuse my Italian, Rosso Corsa, or better known as Ferrari Red or Racing Red. Up front, there's a Fox 32 factory step cast in matching travel and paint. It has seen a little bit of tuning. I'm running a lighter axle. I have a Hop Carbon Parts air cap, and for free weight savings, I'm running it without the rebound adjuster. To build a bike this light, you have to consider every single little detail. So you'll see quite a few almost hidden weight savers. Like for example, even the headset is a super light model. On top of that, you'll find a Schmolke TLO handlebar combo. The TLO standing for the lightest one. The stem weighs just 80 grams at 80 millimeters of length. And thanks to its box section construction, it has great stiffness to weight ratio. If you have a keen eye, you may have noticed that there's no traditional top cap. And to save a few more grams, use an expander, adjust the headset, tighten everything down, remove the expander, and then you use this little plug instead. The Schmolke handlebars weigh 105 grams, and to no big surprise, I'm running foam grips. And at the very front, just like a figurehead, there's a beautiful Garmin GPS mount made in Germany by Carbon Works. The brakes really are little works of art. They're the new trick stuff Piccola Carbon with an updated caliper design and as the name suggests, carbon fiber lever blades. These are by far the lightest brakes on the market and contrary to one might think, they're actually really powerful too. I'm running them with the clamps from Hop Carbon Pots and the front brake here weighs just 151 grams. The remote is a standard Scott Twin Lock but I'm running it with super light aluminum cable housing and with synthetic fiber cables. These can't be fastened like regular steel wires, so that explains the weird looking knots. To match the front, there's a Schmolke TLO seat post combo. And while I do get a lot of fun comments about the length of this thing, it's actually just a standard 400 millimeters. One nice feature on these super light seat posts are that they flex quite a lot. So if you're riding with your suspension locked out, you still get a pretty comfortable ride. Then you might think, comfort and that 55 gram carbon fiber seat? Well, yes. Comfort is actually a lot about finding the right shape of your seat, not about how much padding you have. Another nice thing about carbon fiber seats is that you get way less friction between the bibs and the seat itself. The neat little seat clamp comes from Tune. Now onto the drive tray. Up front, you have a THM Clavicula M3 crankset with a Garbaruk chainring. THM famous for the top quality road parts, but they also have this mountain bike crankset. It weighs just 334 grams and the quality and finish is second to none. Garberuk makes the 11 speed cassette as well. And while 12 speed is the standard these days, 11 speed works just as good as always. 
and the 1046 gearing range is quite enough for most tracks. Attached to a carbon fiber derailleur hanger, we have a little masterpiece of a derailleur. It's based on a SRAM XX1, but with extra light pulley wheels and a full hop carbon parts kit. That means that almost everything on this derailleur is made out of carbon fiber, even the pins holding the parallelogram together. The end result is a derailleur weighing just 179.9 grams, which is about 65 grams lighter than stock. Also, it runs with a titanium shift wire. Yes, you heard that right, titanium shift wire. But one of the most standout features on this bike is the wheel set. It weighs just 1016 grams and is made in Germany by Pyro. The wheel set utilizes Vectron fiber spokes that are of course super light but also extremely strong. These spokes can be used for any kind of riding with no worries. The rims are equally impressive, being made by Bikehead Composites, weighing an incredible 265 grams each with a 24.5 mm inner width. Like I mentioned before, proper tires were an important part here. So I'm running a set of Schwalbe Racing Ralph and Racing Ray in 2.25 width that has been set up tubeless with synchro sealant. Just like the Garmin mount, the bottle cage come from Carbon Works and it's made out of hollow carbon tubes. So of course it's super light, just 8 grams including the screws, but believe it or not, it's actually really sturdy too. So there you have it, one truly lightweight yet functional bike. Is it a bike for everyone? Well, you have to remember that this is a really purpose-built bike. It has been optimized specifically for cross-country and marathon riding, so it will climb like a dream and be extremely responsive. Even if this actually is a quite durable bike, there are a few ride weight limitations to keep in mind. For example, the titanium pedal spindles, they have a 85 kilo limit, the wheel set a 95 kilo limit and the seat here has a 100 kilo ride weight limit. But even if we tweak the spec list to say a 100 kilo all round limit, it will still be an extremely lightweight bike. I hope you have enjoyed seeing all the little details on this build and that you'd like the bike. Let us know what you think in the comments.